Okay, so here's your random video. I just, uh, it's the day before Mother's Day, and I've uh, finished cutting the grass and doing my yard work, and I cut down some junk trees in a, in a garden area, and I had gotten bored, so I don't know about you, but during this whole pandemic, I've been watching YouTube, and I've been going down the rabbit hole, and I ended up on some primitive survival channels. <laughs> so I was bored again. And I ended up using one of my cut down limbs and I made one of these primitive survival digging sticks. It's green wood, so I used that axe to make a digging stick. So, what did I do with my digging stick? I wanted to see if I could make a Dakota fire pit. So, I've never made one before, so. I just started digging away. I started with this end, which is going to be the little hole that feeds air and little sticks and twigs and small pieces of wood. And it goes all the way through to here. So there's that through hole. And I'm getting ready to load it up with some tinder in here, light it up, and see if it actually works. So with any luck, I'll have a roaring fire. So I've loaded up the bottom of the pit with the, the smallest twigs I could find. These are just things I found around the yard. And these are the tiniest of the tiny. Like, they're really small. And I had some of this sitting around in the garage. So I'm going to put this uh, fire starter in the middle of it and then cover it up with the twigs and hopefully get this little thing started. Where there is smoke, hopefully there's fire. So it's buried down in there, and hopefully it's uh, starting to catch the twigs. I see a little flamage going. And I've started to feed some sticks in through the, uh, the vent hole, the air hole. But I believe I need to have coals in there first uh, before I start feeding them in. So work on getting a little bit of coals in here first. I have no idea if I dug it deep enough. It's only about 12 inches deep. The hole here. It's probably less than that, but it does slant down towards the 12 inch deep part. So, starting to catch. It's starting, it's trying to catch. So, it took some babying, and I kept having to throw twigs on it, and uh, dried leaves to finally get it to where the the flame is actually coming to the top of the pit. So I'm not sure if I had choked off the air supply by putting the twigs into the uh, hole first, but once I started feeding them in and just kind of moving things around, it started to get a little bit better. Okay, so now we got it going. Now, what I failed to mention was that I am I was actually trying to feed the sticks in through the air hole to kind of do it like a rocket stove, but I don't think that works that way. So I'm gonna have to work on this, but as long as I keep the, uh, the air hole clear, the fire seems to roar. I think I could actually cook on something or cook something on this at this point. A couple of minutes ago, definitely could not. Okay, so I'm back to smoke again. So I was trying to do the right thing by using all the, the deadfall that I had around my yard. Uh, but unfortunately, it rained last night. So even though it was dry, it was wet. So I went and I got myself some real kindling. So I had some dried wood in the garage and I went ahead and, you know, axed it down into kindling. And it's been there for about 30 seconds and it makes a huge difference using dry wood and I had so much time that I was able to get the bark off of my little primitive digging stick with my axe but yeah huge difference right there there were plenty of coals in the bottom it was just I kept throwing wet wood on top of wet wood and it just wasn't working so lesson learned um, try to use the driest wood you can also, the whole Dakota fire pit thing is not really designed, or actually, maybe if I test it with the dry wood, maybe it actually will work kind of like the way you feed a rocket stove. 
So I'm going to try that next. <laughs> 